I don't have anywhere for my blades. That's all what I'm thinking. When I first got the saw table, I made this extension for the top because here I got nothing. It was just an empty space. The plan now is make a box. Same dimensions with a lift up lid. And inside, I'm going to have myself, I would think, 15, 20 mil of the void. And in that void, I can easily place many saw blades. Now this piece, I will screw down to these draw walls. Maybe a little bit of movement there. And if I screw that down to them, it just makes it all totally solid in one piece. And it'll anchor that down a lot better. But before I do that, I need to work out what my risers are going to be, the four side pieces, and make them and attach them up from underneath. Now the top piece will sit there against this, but needs to be flush with that. So let's measure that. A bit of warp on that so to get rid of it I'm going to put a couple of splines on here just to pull that back out again. I'll just line them up with that.
Now what I'm going to do is, because I already know contact adhesive works very good on this board, and I don't want screws through from the top, I'm going to use contact adhesive. I'm just at the moment masking up now, so that I only get it where I want it to go. Okay, now we we'll leave it 15 minutes or so, let it dry. And while I'm waiting for that glue to dry, it gives me the chance to actually sort out my new glue bottle, which I've been waiting for for a long time. Um, those of you in America will know them quite commonly, I've seen quite a few of them using them, the Fast Cap Glue Bot. Recently available here in the UK. I don't know what you lot that are using them all the time think of them, but if it does what it says it does on the can, it will save me a lot of cleaning up jobs to do. Oh, there it is at last, full, raring to go. Let's see how it performs. Um, if any of you out there have any um, reservations about it, know any like precautions I should follow or drawbacks to it, I'd appreciate you letting me know. Just message us. All right, cheers. That's more clamped in place. Now all I can do is just hope that that is going to fit into there. Um, <coughs> oh, I will have some playing around to do. with no use at all apart from extending the size of my work surface to a storage area where I can now keep all my blades and the spanners for changing them nice and safely out the way clean, dry and pretty much dust free so if like me in your workshop space is a bit of a premium then this is what to do look at every little space you've got and think is it being used to its best is there anything I can do to get a little bit more storage around that area. And you never know what you might come up with. Anyway, thanks for joining me again. See you again next time. Bye for now.